The internet has changed a lot over the years, and there are many great sites from my childhood that have entirely disappeared. For instance, I had a bunch of GeoCities sites in my childhood in the late 90s and early 2000s, and the Internet Archive didn't even pick any of them up. A lot. People talk about how permanent the Internet is a lot and how things are set in stone in the way they aren't in the past, but um, a lot of websites, particularly obscure ones, tend to become transient and ephemeral and they only last for a shorter period of time than you'd think. Um, tonight I wanted to show you how to access a lot of the older typing games from the late 2000s and early 2010s. Over the past five years or so, there have really only been three typing websites that have been particularly relevant, um, besides Interstena, which I view in a different category because they have live competitions. Ten Fast Fingers, Type Eraser, and Nitro Type. But those aren't the only three sites that I think were good, and I think a lot of the forgotten ones were as good as the famous sites, sometimes even better. Um, Ten Fast Fingers was not the first site to um, offer single-player typing applications, not by a long shot. It, um, Type Array and Typing Zone got there first, and and both of those sites had user accounts almost a decade before um, Ten Fast Fingers did in 2011, I believe it was. Um, but Typing Zone and HighGames.net, which also had accounts and I think predated Ten Fast Fingers by a few months. Typing Zone and HighGames.net were honestly for quite some time my two favorite single player typing games, but now they're not really usable. So I've been talking to people on the Type Racer Discord and I wanted to try to. Uh, Foggy had mentioned to me that um, if I used an old browser, Opera 9.0, I could, which was from like 10 years ago, I could use highgames.net, and it occurred to me I could use a lot of these other old typing games as well, and I wanted to show you um, how to do it. If you, if, I figure it's only like the hardcore typists watching my videos for the most part, so, and I figure some of you might want to check some of these games out if you're only familiar with the current big three, because I know a lot of people have come on in the last few years and have really only heard of, um, Ten Fast Fingers, Type Racer, and Nitro Type. Um, so I wanted to get to these things working and show you how to do it if you want to use them, because all these sites had different sorts of tests, and the more kinds of tests you have experience on, I think, I think it can help you be a more well-rounded typist rather than just spending your time typing only on one site. Um, So yeah, uh, Foggy told me that I needed to download Opera 9.0, an old browser from uh, 2006. And I tried to do this a couple nights ago on my last typing stream, but I used a site that um, gave my computer malware and had to do a system restore. I mentioned that on that video. So, um, Foggy told me to use oldversion.com, and this is where you would go, oldversion.com slash windows slash download slash opera hyphen nine hyphen zero, or, or change the, uh, operating system if you're using Mac or Linux, you can just click on those buttons or change the directory there to Mac or Linux instead of Windows. But, um... Yeah, you would click this button to download it. I've, I already have downloaded it, so it would replace that with a different message, but that is where you would click. And then, 
You will also want to install the Java runtime environment. Um, that used to come automatically on computers, I think, but sometimes you had to install it too. But I, I imagine most people have really new computers. It's not supported by most recent browsers. It won't even run in most current browsers, so I imagine it no longer comes automatically on computers. If you want to install it, you would go to Java Runtime Environment. Um, Java download and then click here and follow the instructions. Now I would recommend if you want to use highgames.net I would recommend you go do this first and then install Opera because it's not automatically installed and, and you would have to exit out of Opera and go back into it to get it to work. But I did finally manage to get, get it to work and for a long time this was my favorite single-player typing site and it disappointed me I wasn't able to get it to work but it's been this is the this is the site I use to type uh, 174 words per minute over 50 minutes at the end of 2010 and I'm faster now than I was then I might be able to beat that now but it does take a while to load the applet. I might have to refresh this in order to do so. The default test is two minutes long and we'll see how I do. My previous record was 189 words per minute, but that was a long time ago. For some reason, it is not working. It was working right before I started this video. I wanted to get it working first before I tried the video, but... Okay, I will try again, and I will not do the F11. I right-click, then it works. That's weird. This is a site you have to correct everything you make, so it's especially annoying when you type a bunch of letters wrong, because you have to backspace, and there is no other way. So it's probably worth mostly chilling out rather than trying to burst on this site. Although I am kind of bursting. This has you type a never-ending series of random sentences, which at least is better than just a string of random words. So, so although it's going to be completely non-sequitur for the entire time you're typing, at least you're typing actual phrases, which I think can be better training than just typing random words. Sixty one, wow. 
that is a lot worse than it felt like. I know I did make several um, corrections. One of the neat things about this site is it. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't look like it identifies. You cl you so you click on and select what browser you use. I thought it identified it. I did use this site a lot, so I didn't expect like I would be breaking the records on it tonight. I didn't expect that it would be that much slower than my records since I am faster than I was at the time. Judgment was spelled wrong there because I typed something that had judgment spelled like that. When I was practicing here earlier and I typed it right, 177, that's better. Alright, so I don't think my average has really improved here that much, although it's been years since I've been on here and I said maybe I have to get used to it again. I'm probably not going to do the five minutes, but I'll do the shorter ones. All right, it looks like maybe I have to double click. I'm going to restart. Again, that did not feel that slow. I don't have a judge for this. Oh, good. This site does not start counting until after you type a character. It's one of those. and that had some hard words in it. Yeah, you can see I did this a lot, an awful lot. So it, um, maybe it's actually harder than a lot of the other sites were, but I'm 
Yeah. Um, so it doesn't look like I'm going to be getting any records on this tonight. I mean, I did go on here a lot, a lot. And I think my top speed has gone... Oh, come on. That had Isaac misspelled in it. take me a lot of attempts to beat any of these things, although I still would get top five scores almost every time I do it, because a lot of the really good people haven't been on here yet, or for some time. I mean, I could do the five minutes, but huh, I don't know that I want to go that long. Oh, 175, though. It's possible I could beat that, but I don't think I'm going to. I'll try. One thing that you said to be typed wrong, but I type things wrong a lot when I try to correct them when they are incorrect, and that I guess is one of the problems of this site. won't be a 175, I'm already getting a score. 
I can't even imagine how I did did it for 15 minutes now. Well, I'm 35 now. I was 25 then. And I probably built up to it over quite some time. It's the first time I've been on in a while. There's no way to correct here besides that space, and that's the most annoying thing here besides the misspellings. 174, alright. So I guess I'm just as fast as it was, but yeah, that made me sore. I would have to build up to it if I wanted to do 50 minutes on here again, or an hour. I think it would be an hour now, because I see that most of the most impressive typing records were done over an hour the records from the first half of the 20th century by Albert Sengor and George Hosfield and Margaret Owen and people like that. Um, Fifty Minutes was just the one record by Barbara Blackburn, and I've had surprising trouble verifying a lot of the stuff about her record. Like I said in my earlier videos, um, The 70s and 80s has become this wormhole where it's pretty hard to research because fairly obscure things at least because newspapers were starting to fade due to television. Television recordings weren't saved for the most part and the internet hadn't emerged so that era is being strangely forgotten as I said. I'm not sure what exactly Barbara Blackburn typed, in other words. I, I, I'd like to see it, but I doubt I'll ever be able to. Um, but it, you see the address bar where it says highgames.net slash typing test comma. You can set the number of seconds here to anything to record yourself having any length of time. So if I wanted to type 50 minutes again, this is how I would... This is how I would do it, and you can see all of the people who did type over 50 minutes and what um, keyboard layouts they used. Um, I don't want to do that tonight because I want to show you a bunch of other sites. But, and you can do it for a single second. Now, I think this has been overrun by cheaters. Yes. All right, VL somehow supposedly got 2,500 made words per minute, so obviously that was cheated. And I know Payman Warasta cheated elsewhere, and I know that Zebus and Chanman were also banned from TypeRacer for cheating on those accounts, so it would not surprise me if Kukane, Edwin, and I had the highest legitimate scores over one second, but... I definitely can't burst like I used to. Now I, now I could see Terran especially, because Terran is the fastest on the first four characters. Getting something insane on this without cheating. Terran or Alpha would probably break this. I 
don't know why I'm struggling to click on that, but yes, yeah, so you can do this for any number of seconds. You could do this for like 13 seconds, which I doubt no anybody ever has, but no, I have apparently. And Kukane and Noah and other people. Being able to set this to any amount of time that you want, any number of seconds, is so cool and the coolest thing about this site. And that's what, and that's probably why it was my uh, favorite for a while, but my favorite site in general for a while, even. Now here's typingzone.com. A lot of people have trouble installing it, but if you use an old browser like this, it should, it should work for you. When you're in Google Chrome or something, it only lets you download the French version. And, I mean, if you don't speak French, it might be hard for you to read it. But if you want to download the English version, that is something else you could do with an old browser like this. Sorry about this. My mom came out about five minutes ago because apparently one of my cats had woken her up to ask for food even though I fed them right before I started recording about a half an hour ago. Um, but I'm going to try to splice these two videos together unlike what I did with those Scrabble videos. So this will all be in one video. As you can see, I clicked to download there, and then because that pop-up came, I clicked over here, and then, and then it shows me what I downloaded here, and then I double-click on that to extract it, and... And I will put this in the shun typing for the moment. Windows Defender likes to think that typing zone is a threat. It's clearly not a threat. I already downloaded the French version of it, which is here. Um, oh, but is it not listed here? I am new to Windows 10 because, well, I had it on my laptop, but not on a desktop. I'm trying to find a place to see the list of, to make this a list rather than a series of icons. And I and that used to be easy to find how to do that, not as so much anymore. Um okay. Okay, it deleted it because it thought it was a threat, so I will try again and see if I can override it. I would rather have it in the English version than the French version, even though I do have the French version downloaded on here. Operation did not complete successfully because the file contains a virus or potentially unwanted software. That's what it always says when... 
when you try to download the English version. All right, so I guess regardless, if you want to. Can I have it overrided? I know there is not a virus in this application. I've used this on many computers before. It does not have a virus. Even though it says that it does, I'm going to I'll say to allow it and You may just want to download the French version to um, see how it works, but I'll show you how the English version works, even though it's not really worth This is where you would enter the, oh, well, you go into typing zone and you create an account there, and then you um, enter your username and password twice once you already have created an account, and it will verify that by connecting to the server. I should show what this says in English if you end up downloading the French version. The French version never comes up as having a Trojan. The English version for some reason always does when you try to download it and that's one of the things that mainly killed this site which is too bad because I think it was my favorite single player for a while but all right I think I here I enter my username and password. my cat making a lot of noise. Here is the English test on typing zone. It is the end of something from Einstein. I got 180 words per minute or something on it. This might synchronize it up. So yes, 185.13 was the maximum score I got, which is the all-time record on here. Now, Typing Zone defines its scores a different way from other sites, and um, well, Bailey just got on here in the past couple days. That seems to be very recent. He was not on here until a few days ago and there are a few really great typists like Alpha Panda and Terran who haven't been on here yet. Um, somehow I didn't realize Bailey was Australian, huh? but that's how you synchronize your scores by pressing send your scores there. Um, and I'll do all of them. And, 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 and what this site defines as a word per minute is, very, is different from the other sites because in Europe they use 
six characters per word for some reason. I have still yet been unable to figure out instead of five. So you multiply those by 1.2 to get the equivalent score. on most other sites. So 185.13 times 1.2 is 222.156, which is the fastest I did on this. Now these buttons are all the same. Everything is exactly the same, no matter whether you download the English application typing zone or the French application zone back below. Maybe if you want to avoid the Trojan thing, then... Um, Even though it doesn't have a virus, if you want to avoid that, you can just download the zone deck below instead. But these buttons are all the same, so take a look at what these buttons say and memorize the positions, and you can still use the French version just fine. And that downloads fine for some reason. A lot of people think this isn't really real French typing because it does not force you to type the accent marks. Oh yeah, I want the sound off. I've done these so many times, like probably hundreds of times each. So the, I, the odds of me breaking this while doing this are extremely unlikely. I mean, this is really going to be very good. 139.5. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I mean, that's probably only like 20th on the list, on the French list. 15th. Alright, still better than Czech's best, even though that was really sloppy for me. Um, pi to 200 digits. If you want to practice numeric typing, this is a great way to do this. I mean, I've done all these things hundreds of times. And I mean, despite being the fastest at numeric typing on average when typing it in alphanumeric text, there are a lot of people who are better than I am at. Well, not a lot of people, but there are some people who are better at typing long strings of numbers. Taro Yada, most obviously, but he's not the only one. Now, maybe I'm going to do suddenly better on this after what I just did, breaking Michael Shestov's record. And I mean, I do feel like I'm going a bit faster than I usually do on that. Oh, but that doesn't. And you hit escape to bail out, which I do almost all the time. I mean, it tells you what your speed is the whole time on, like, 10 fast fingers, which is one of the reasons why I prefer this, honestly. You can bail out when you're not on a record pace and you see that, and since all you do is send your top scores to the server, you might as well bail out as much as you can so you can get another chance sooner. But I'm just going to try and cruise here and see if I can do it at 100% accurate. I mean, even that'll take me a long time. I mean, it's a lot harder when the numbers are in a more random order. With the typing, the numbers from 1 to 500, obviously. There were certain patterns you moved your fingers in the same patterns over and over and over again ad nauseum, and it was just a matter of not slipping up while well here, unless you've actually memorized the entire string of digits of pi here, which even I wasn't nerdy enough to do, although cocaine actually was. 470.21, that'll probably make the top 100 someplace, but probably not very high. Alright, that one would have been 40 seconds, well, not including me. There are people who are 7 and 10 who have done a lot of young people. Um, really young people. Satanaka Yuuji, there's a new one. But yeah, I was 13th on this, and 
Um, that was a relative weakness for me, but the alphabet things I was even weaker on. So it's just typing 26 characters, and it's really about bursting, and I'm not known for being a really good burster, and there are people who are faster than I am at that. One point five five two seconds. Oh, that would actually make the list, I think. Tied for seventy eighth, but yeah. My one point two four one seconds isn't bad, but I mean that's you're talking you're starting to talk really insane speeds when you get to that level. Since I don't believe it counts the first letter because it doesn't start timing until you've already typed a letter, so that's only 25 characters you're typing. So 25 characters in 1.241 seconds. I was typing 20.1 characters per second, which is 242 words per minute. Now the record here, Christophe Jusseline's 0.941 seconds, that would be... 319 words per minute. I mean, that's how fast you can go on these really short tech. Now, I, now I can see somebody like Taryn breaking that record if he ever goes on Typing Zone, which I'm surprised he hasn't, honestly, but... And... Here's the alphabet backwards. Almost everybody is slower on alphabet backwards than actual alphabet, but... Um, this is what Michael DeRose is leading by a thousandth of a second. So that score is equivalent to 282 words per minute. 1.063 seconds. I'm not even close. At 1.6 seconds. Because almost everybody is slower typing the alphabet backwards. Especially on QWERTY. And I think a lot of that is because D, F, G, H, J, K, L are seven consecutive consonants on the home row. And that's a lot easier to go forwards than backwards. You're also a lot more people that make mistakes and things, and it just feels ickier to do this. Fine, I got one through the 2.4 seconds. I don't know if that's not even going to make the top 200, is it? Actually, yes, but not by a lot, but yeah. The shorter the lists get, the more intense they get, and you probably have to take through them like thousands of times to come close to topping one of these lists. Maybe I didn't even do them enough, but I don't really find that kind of stuff very fun but anyway that's how typing zone works and these tests have been permanent they have been the exact same all the way back to like 2002 so you can see how you've done versus all sorts of typists from all over the world even before type racer 10 fast fingers and nitro type even existed i mean this is the site that spawned a lot of the typists on those other sites andre christescu who used to be on the top 10 of all five lists for a while. Um, he was also the first type racer record holder in English after um, after the site was created. He was the first to break the creator's high score records. And there's a general ranking that combines how each person did across all of the texts. And Michael DeRose is leading that because 50% of this comes down to how fast you do on relatively short things. And he was one of the fastest on short texts. And he was also second on the French and the English and pretty good on the high to, I think, only top 10, ninth, but still above me. Um, and then every month, Typing Zone has a Master of the Month, where I hide so you don't 
and see what my password is. On the first Sunday of the month, people get to submit certain texts. On the second Sunday of the month, users vote on them. On the third Sunday of the month, whatever text has been selected, you can download and this is how you and this is how you do this. You go to Master of the Month and then you download it. Oh, it is too early to download the master's text. I was hoping it would give me last month so I could show how it would work. I mean, obviously I couldn't submit it to the site because the master expired. But yes, no master right now. So you can only download it when it's running. I did not know that. Um, but they alternate between short, medium, and long texts. The time alternates. goes from two days to three days to five days to seven throughout the year. And then... Because this site has always believed in equality in English and French, and I mean it's the exact same site whether you go to, it has the exact same content regardless of whether you go to typingzone.com or zonedactylo.com, except it's either written in English or French. Four months are in French, four months are in English, and it's the same each year. Two months you type a language other than those two, although I actually managed to submit an, a, a numeric quote last October. Um, and two months are open to any sort of text. Um, and the fan and, and the voters tend to pick some weird texts. Whatever is the most repetitive seemingly and a lot of it is can be nonsensical. <sighs> but it keeps it does keep you on your toes and there's a list of who won the most masters. I won 35. Kukane won 30. And you can see going down the list. And then there are archives who finished in the top three in every single year in Typing Zone history. And you can see what all the texts were. And... I know some of them were weird. I'm trying to remember what the weird year was. I think it might have been 2007, this one. Yes, Bo, 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 Bo. That actually got selected. And I know Michael DeRoche had basically the same thing later. I think it was... Oh, no, not that one. I can move his life like a computer can move your life since our life moves the computer like your computer moves your life. It doesn't make any sense. But yeah, Kukane submitted that several years ago just because he found all those words were fast. And indeed, they are fast. I calculated what some of the fastest words were. And I know that life like move were all up there. Um, four letter words generally. So it might have been the next year, but there was some year. Oh, no, it was French, right. Um, yes, this is it. Michael DeRoche submitted as a quote, Bonjour, this many times over. And there was another quote that was XCVB, 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 over and over. And the stupidest of all was one with a bunch of strings of A's, like 25 A's in a row and then a space, and then 25 A's in a row and then a space. It's It can be a very bizarre sight, but that was the charm of it, and I want to see, I want to see more people trying it out. And here's the weirdest thing about this site, maybe of all, is that it allows you to type things and it calculates your speed as you type them. And so, quite often for years, you would get endless strings of people typing gobbledygook quickly just to see how quickly they could type ext extemporaneous garbage, and they would do this for hours and hours. Not so much lately, but...
There you go. I typed that out 125 words per minute. Um, that is one of the most bizarre features I've ever seen on any typing site, but it does still have its charms. Okay, now that I've done all that, I'm going to show you a Russian site I used to like very much called Euracore.net. I don't know if I've... They do... They did... It, this used to be entirely in Russian, but they did finally put part of it in English. This, this also doesn't work in... Um, this also no longer works in modern browsers, but it works in old browsers, and I thought it was a good test for training and for um, practice and for and for fun because it had what it one of the main features of this site is it had daily tasks where you could oh. I don't know if I even remember what my password is. I last used this like eight years ago. Okay, my password was sent to my email. Now I guess I've got to open another browser to see what the password is and copy it. Obviously, I'm not going to pivot the camera so that can be seen. Is it locked as spam? Oh yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if it was, because it's a Russian site. I'm not getting it, so I guess I will just do this not logged in, but um, this has something called daily texts, where um, oh, you have to log in to do it. You have to log in to do it. Alright, so I'll try again. not appearing in my inbox or my spam folder. Maybe I will just let this go and um, and try the last site. TWFan.com. This is Type well. This is a site for typing in Japanese, and and you can type using English letters to type in Japanese. And I was told that I briefly held the record in typing in Japanese on this, which was kind of wild. Um, oh, all right. I can't. That doesn't have a tr place to translate. Um. All right, so I've got to install it on Chrome, I guess.
Hmm, I'm not even sure how you get an LZH file to run. This file does not have an app associated with it for performing this application action. Yeah, that's that's an extension I hadn't heard of before. Um all right. How to open an LZH file. I hope this will not have malware, but it probably will. It even looks like a malware kind of site. That bouncing green arrow I don't like, but... It actually looks legit, much to my surprise. Interstenno is allowing people to type, um... Kanji characters, which allow you to type Japanese using English letters, and... Alright, I'm going to try to use this to open up what I just installed now. I've already forgotten whether I whether I just downloaded the file or set it. Oh, I already set it up. Okay. I thought I had. Okay. Oh, it doesn't let you. It does not let you cut and paste. All right. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy it just to, just to run that. All right, so I guess I can't do that. All right, can I get the Euricore working? No, but I'll at least explain how it does work. There's a rotating series of quotes, one on each numbered day of the month. So now we are on April 12th, which would, well, depending on what time zone it is. So, so for each, so for each 12th, on the 12th of every month, there is a usual text where you type in a certain regular string of English sentences, a numeric text where you type an entirely numeric quote that I believe is usually 10 digit numbers that you space in between, but I might be remembering that wrong because I haven't used this in about eight years. And then there is abracadabra, which is where you type a bunch of words in a row, I think like you would on type array or 10 fast fingers, but the words have the first and last letters in, um, the first and last letters remain the same as in the actual words, but the 
letters in between are all scrambled. So if you were to type Sean, it would come out S-A-E-N. Um... If you were to type printer, it might be P-N-I-R-E-T-R or something like that. And those, those are really good tests. If you can ever get this to work, those are really good tests for testing your dexterity and your ability to type all different kinds of things. Being able to type random gibberish, I think, is something that really helps... Um, in memorizing where things are on the keyboard, maybe. It did, it did for me, maybe it won't for everybody else, but... Um... But yeah, I like I liked this site a lot too, enough so that on one of my old live journal blogs... Um, wait, I'll do this in Google because I probably loaded... Google Chrome because I probably loaded that page recently, um, yeah, I'm still not getting, um, that, um, And I'm just, I'm just in a daze, blanking on what I was saying. Oh yes, I was showing, going to show my live journal post. It, was, it would have been like a couple after this. Um, Twenty eleven is when I last used it, and I must have made it private. All right, the ones in March 2010 were, were the ones that were the last ones that I made public. Anyway, here is the here is the post I made about the Ultimate Typing Championship. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I did quote a lot of this in my book. Anyway, it was called Suto by Suto Eust, so I... I did South by Southwest, and then I anagrammed it in the Eurocore style. That just shows how much I like that site, but it's an inside joke that nobody on Earth would even get now. That I wrote this ten years ago, and I mean, people haven't even been on that site in five years or more. And Showdown in DOS Capital, that was just making a pun on DOS Keyboard and that conference being in Austin, Texas, the capital of Texas. But it wasn't funny, but I thought it was funny at the time. Um, and yeah, I've been exchanging emails back and forth with Sam Fisher, one of my YouTube followers who has been coming up with ideas for, uh, Patreon, um, banner for me, and... This is what he came up with, and I think it's a lot better than any of the things I've come up with, so I may use that, and he did get that typewriter from a stock typewriter set, although the typewriter he chose was beautiful, and that looks really slick and professional, definitely more than anything I can do, so, um, all right, this is where... This is where he got it from. Oh, Woodstock. Yeah, I know what the about the Woodstock typewriter. Cortez Peters used that and finished second in the 1935 uh, national international championship. That's the only time it was ever used in one of the major contests. Woodstock was relatively obscure compared to some of the bigger typewriter companies like Underwood, Remington, and Royal, and eventually IBM, of course, but Woodstock was relatively obscure, but I know that Cortez Peters used it in competition occasionally. Maybe it was even that one. I don't know. But yeah, that's a lot better a logo than a uh, banner than I probably would have been capable of making, so maybe I will use that. Um, 
and I wanted to give a shout out to Sam for that. Um, and while I and while I was looking through my typing folder, I found I found something. All right, my 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 supposed record on Type Racer. Well, let me look at my Type Racer data page. Okay. Oh wait, it would have been on Arena Snow 2 maybe. No. No. Right, because I don't race select on there, so it would have to be on this account. So my best single race supposedly is 271 words per minute, but I just found a flashback to something proving that I had actually done better once. November 10th, 2010, I got a 274, and, oh, it can't be opened. Oh well, I saw this there and I was hoping it could be. I got a 274 in Type Racer back in 2010. Now I think that was significantly lagged on, on the bloke quote. I was hoping that I had an image there, which I thought I did, but I but I failed to capture three times. I got 91% on it three times, and I thought maybe if I could show that on on the recording, I could at least prove that. But I mean, I, I, I failed to capture fair and square. I never considered that breaking the record to that degree. And besides, if I claim that 274, then Eric Trider would have never held the record, and I want and I want him to be on the list of record holders. But yeah, I did get a 274 once a long time ago, but I think it was heavily lagged, and I got 91% on the CAPTCHA all three times. I, I was fast enough, I did not get the accuracy. You needed 92% accuracy at that time to pass the CAPTCHA test, so I didn't get it, but that would have been even better than my 256 was, and I still haven't topped that yet. Although I don't really think I have the speed to go much above 300, unlike some of the later people are doing. Um, when did I do a race in March 2020? I don't even remember that. Seriously, I don't remember that. But okay. Anyway, I guess that's it. I was not able to get Eurocore to work yet. I was not able to get Typewell to work yet. Maybe I will try those on a, another day. But anyway, I really recommend HighGames.net and Typing Zone. They were my, they were probably my two personal favorite multiplayers more than even Ten Fast Fingers. Although Ten Fast Fingers is not is is, is obviously the dominant one now. And Type Gun, I really wanted to try Type Gun too, but for some reason it's not working, and it wasn't working on any on any browser because apparently the site needed to be recertified and hasn't been yet. But I really like Type Gun too because it it combined the video game style graphics of Nitro Type with the Ten Fast Fingers style of text, and I I kind of liked the retro Atari aesthetic that Type Gun was going for more than those other sites, but I wasn't able to get that to work either. Maybe maybe trying to get Eurocore, Type Gun, and <sighs> Type Well to work will be for another day. But I w but anyway I showed to you how um High Games and Typing Zone worked, and how to download them if you want to use them. And I really recommend them if you're if you're that hardcore. There are a lot of more recent great typists. I want to see how they'd be able to do on those sites who haven't tried them before. And I'm going to try to concatenate into these into a single video, splice them into a single video, which I was unable to do with the Scrabble uh, Scrabble games. But um, now I'm. Now I'm going to sign off for the night, and tomorrow I will go try uh, to go back on that Zetamac mental calculation site, like I did several years ago, and somebody mentioned that they wanted me to try that again. Oh yeah, it was Dylan a night or two ago. Okay, bye.